All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to a Minecraft custom map entitled The Black House where we've spawned into what appears to be some sort of fiery wreckage. You don't remember the impact, it's all just a blur. Where's everyone gone? The plane was full in what seemed just two seconds ago. You were in the air enjoying the perks of first class, but the rest is a blank. Over the hill you notice a small hatch in the ground. It appears bolted shut for now, but you wonder if you'll somehow be able to get it open to find out what the hell is happening. The flight manifest mentioned something about waterproof cargo. So it would appear as if I, Batman, and the lone survivor of some sort of catastrophic plane crash, and I have to fight my way out of here somehow. I suppose we should first take a look for some of that waterproof cargo, so let's go scuba diving. Ah, right over there, there are some chests, torches. Some boats, I will take two just for good measure. A pair of apples. A little bit of nothing. Some dirt. I'll take just one stack is probably enough and put it in my not hot bar. <laughs> is that it? Certainly appears to be. In that case, it seems like I should probably Head on over to that ominous looking shack across the ponds. Perhaps someone else over there will be able to help me. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodbye boat. It's been been fun. I hope I don't need you later. Be a fresh. Closed. All the more reason to enter in my book. <laughs> Via Fresh, what kind of an odd name is that, I wonder? The buildup of dust and cobwebs suggests it seems to have been abandoned for a while now. A diary near the bed reads, Entry 230, 11th of March, 1958. The old man living in the black house up on the hill keeps snooping around the docks at night. At least I think it's him. Tomorrow I'm gonna have a word. It's bad enough that he keeps me awake, let alone steals my fish. Well, in that case, We'll have a look. What is back here? Nothing but a bed. Well, I guess that's it. I'll take the items in the chest. And then, who knows? Stone sword that looks more like some sort of <laughs> pilly club. I don't know. I guess we should follow this path then. Probably the best idea. And see where it leads us. Hopefully I'm not missing any hidden chests of sorts. We'll see soon enough. Hmm. No, no hidden chests in this water area, doesn't look like. Some cows though, <laughs> lots of cows, and it looks like we're soon going to be heading up the side of this mountain, perhaps to the black house itself. Danger, watch for falling rocks. Hmm. <laughs> Let's be careful. Are you attached to your rope? I wish I had one. Instead, I'll have to free climb the ladders. Speaking of which, I can now hold shift and steady myself. Pretty cool. Black Manor for sale. But why would anyone ever want to sell such a house with views of awesome plane crashes and other stuff? Like non loading chunks? I have no idea. Perhaps we'll soon find out. Hmm. Let's see. There's a lever. Ah, that just opened a door somewhere. Okay. What is in here? Hmm. 
The aptly named Black Manor seems to be empty. The chalky smell of dust fills the air as you struggle to find your way around using the small amount of light coming from the candles on the wall. The house is very old, and the architecture is in a style you have never yet seen before back home. A note next to one of the chairs reads, Dear Sir, the current state of renovation work in my dining hall is quite frankly inappropriate. I demand satisfaction or I will be taking my business elsewhere. Next time you think of using my best tablecloth as a paint drip sheet, you had better think again. Regards, Sir Eli Bulbit. Well, it certainly doesn't sound like Sir Eli is very content <laughs> with the people doing renovation work in his house, which isn't all that surprising, considering all I hear are spiders and zombies. <laughs> Not very pleasant house guests. Dining hall or galley? I guess we'll go in here. Ah, this could very well be the door that lever opened in the other room. Manor safe. Ooh, armor. All right. And lots more health items. <laughs> if I die, it's going to be quite the embarrassment. And some diamonds to increase our score. I'll leave that just in case I need it later. For now, continue exploring. 134. Samsung oven. Cooktop hot. Well, I'll dance on your hot cooktop and see if the pressure plates do anything. Don't seem to. That's some sort of clever product placement here. Did Samsung pay you? <laughs> see what's out here. A zombie spawner. And a tomb for Tots McGee. May you rest in peace. Hmm. -hmm. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, back here there is. Anything? Nope. Then I guess it's time for us to head to the dining hall, which seems to be upstairs. Nothing but a bed. Nothing but a dead end. Oh, the dining hall. <laughs> Has <laughs> some nice guests. I uh, will save that for later. Ballroom. Oh, that room has some very nice guests as well. Skeletons. Sweet! Anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Well then, since I absolutely detest skeletons, I will save them for last. <laughs> Dining hall. Okay. Here we go. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of dumb. You are all yelling at me right now to put on my armor, and I am yelling at myself as well for not realizing. Oh, come on. Alright, first, I didn't realize this room was here, but nothing in it. <laughs> okay. Hey there. How are you? Seen better days, I guess. Oh, hey, the worker is in here. Uh, not the <laughs> not the best company that Sir Eli could have hired, I don't think. Yikes. Oh boy, there must be spawners in here. There's way too many. Ah. Oh my god. Jeez. Ouch. God. Jeez. Oh, this is rough. Oh my god, there are so many of them. I need like a grenade or something to throw in there, or a flashbang. <laughs> Can flashbang and destroy you at the mall, and then they won't know what's coming. Come on, you. Stop being so annoying. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, come on. Oh no, there's more. Okay, we're disabling the spawners really quickly before more spawn. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't you dare. Okay. Whew. That was quite the process. Man. Whew. All right. Let's take any extra torches we did not need to place. Okay. Whew. We're good. <laughs> the house seems infested with the undead. What kind of place is this? What the hell happened to it for it to fall apart like this? 
Thankfully, the owner of the house seemed quite wealthy and a collector of antique armor and weapons. You equip yourself with armor and a weapon just in case you run into any other foul beasts. Perhaps you should check out the rest of the house. Well, <laughs> gonna have to fight some skeletons, so I may as well take the diamond armor, that's for sure. And a bow and arrow. Only 30 arrows, though. Well, we'll have to make do. I don't, I don't see why I need the boat, but anyway, let's uh, take a lot of food. <laughs> and is that all we need? Seems like it. Iron sword, bow and arrows. Let's put on that diamond armor. And get ready to do battle with skeletons. Actually, let me replenish some health. And there we go. <clears throat> Ballroom. I guess it's time to dance with the undead. <laughs> you are just, you're juking me out here, bro. Every time I shoot you, you just like hide. I see, I see. You guys are smart. Getting smarter on me. Oh no, there's spawners. How many am I about to run into? Okay, okay, come on. Oh, come on. Just, just... Uh, okay. You're done. You're done. Stop spawning. Okay, we're just gonna disable spawners really quickly while I'm trying to strafe out... <laughs> strafe out of the way. What <laughs> now? What now, bros? Here we go. I'm strafing. Somehow I killed one of those guys without even doing anything. Fair enough. I'm not complaining. Whew! There we are. Take excess torches. Oh, that was some mighty precise placement, even in a time of haste. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll enter, see what's going on in here. Let me actually replenish. Did not mean to do that. Let's replenish some health. Take some more food items. Another infestation of the undead. You tend to your wounds as you rest from the epic battle you've just encountered. The chest contains some more armor and weapons as well as some minecarts. Very interesting, you think to yourself. I didn't see any tracks around here. Perhaps what lies behind the locked door in the basement will give me more answers. Upon using the lever, you hear the faint noise of a door unlocking. Indeed. Well then, we can get some more diamond armor even though I highly doubt we'll need it. I just heard a skeleton. Doesn't sound good. Okay, he's not in there. Um, diamond sword. Suppose we can get rid of all that stuff. Make some extra room. Take some diamonds. Just in case, I'll take that extra armor. I'll throw away the iron. And I'll take a few apples. <laughs> it's probably far more than I whatever need but and we're good to go that would be it now it's off to find that hidden door that we just unlocked that I guess leads to the basement let me actually sleep it off really quickly that way it'll be nice and light when we go searching for it Okay. I have no idea where all the zombies and spiders and skeletons are coming from because I thought I disabled all the spawners. <laughs> Interesting. Now where is this basement? Hmm. I could have sworn I'd searched all the rooms on the first floor. Is that a skeleton? Sounds like it. Oh, jeez, that's great. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice there's a path out here. I wonder if there's anything... Sit down. Oh, you're not, not, not you. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Although you seem to want to have a lot to do with me. Yeah, I'll pass. Does this lead to anything? Huh. A little secret door. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. 
Some lava. Who keeps a lava tank in their house? Weird dude. Seriously. It appears to be some sort of secret dungeon located under the house. Was this man insane? You hear the clattering of bones. Prepare yourself for another fight and gather your strength. Finding your way out is now the number one objective. This house has given you nothing if but more questions that need answers. Maybe you should have waited at the plane for help. Could it be too late? Hopefully not. I guess we're about to do battle with a ton of skeletons. Once again. Ugh. Go away. Oh god darn it. That's a lot. That is a lot. Oh man. Oh man. That is way too many. Way too many skeletons. Let's disable the spawner really quickly. Ah. Okay. We're good to go. <laughs> what is back here? A couple of chests. Some diamonds. Another diamond sword. I really don't think I need that. And some more diamonds. And another diamond sword and some more apples. I highly doubt I'll need all those dirt blocks, but whatever. I'll, I'll keep them just in case. Now, where do we go? <laughs> this like, huh. Oh, the water is flowing towards the center. Oh, there's a secret path. Got it. Never, ever would have guessed. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're back at that little waterfall. Surprised I didn't notice this when I was first walking up. There's a zombie down there. Hi, zombie. How are you? Um. Huh. Oh. Here we are. Interesting. And a chest with more minecarts. I guess I have all I need, though. After finding your way out of the basement via the hidden exit, you stumble upon a secret hideaway located deep beneath the house. A diary sitting on the bed reads, Day 925. I'm nearly out of charcoal to write. Tomorrow I will mine for more. It's writing that's keeping me sane. My house has been taken over. It's like a curse has been cast upon me. Perhaps my past is finally catching up. Yesterday I heard a commotion from the house. A man yelling and then silence. I hope he's okay. I estimate my trip to the castle to ask for assistance from the king will take me a few days. I have very little supplies, but I'm praying he answers my call for help and assists me in taking back my house. You notice a track leading out of the cave. Perhaps this will lead you to safety. Or the crash site. Only one way to find out. Oh no, I just missed it. Uh, huh, that was no good. There we go. That's a fail. <laughs> Alright, let's see where this takes us. Oh, not there. Oikes. Huh. End of the line. What's in here? The minecart ride gave you motion sickness as you wipe away the vomit from your mouth and take a look around. It seems to be a small campsite, probably belonging to the man from the cave. The chest contains one piece of dynamite. Perhaps you can use this to blow open the hatch at the back of the plane. Also within the chest is a compass. It seems to be attracted to a strange source. Not the north. Maybe this leads back to the hatch. Well then, let's take the compass. Let us take the TNT in place of this dirt. And I guess we'll... Follow the direction. See where it leads. Hopefully to nothing that's gonna get me killed. All the way. Dear spiders! Ah, my boat! Still there! My boat! <laughs> Back to the crash site, I guess. That's where it's pointing us. Okay. Compass is still pointing straight ahead. Huh. 
Well, I guess we should head to that, what I think is the hatch. And we'll blow it open with force. All right. Oh boy. Kaboom. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Some sort of deep trench. Huh. It's like a bunker of some sort with a zombie spawner in it. Interesting. Well, all right. What is this? This seems to be the weird magnetic source the compass was being attracted to. The radio looks old, but it could still work. As you reach for the on switch, you pray it turns on and doesn't explode into a shower of sparks. A crackle can be heard and suddenly the radio springs to life. Is anyone there? You gasp into the microphone. Hello, please help me. I'm a survivor of the plane crash. Hello, anyone? Silence fills the room for the next seconds. It seems like an eternity. A man's voice suddenly appears. Shh, hello. We can hear you. Please remain calm. We're tracking your signal. Shh, are there any other survivors? Your heart sinks as you reply. No, no one else is here. Silence again for a few seconds. You must be a long way from civilization. Shh, okay. We've located you and you're sending out a rescue party. You breathe a sigh of relief. It's over. Thanks for playing the Black House. How many diamonds did you find and what does this lever do? I don't know. 19 diamonds. Uh, let's try to find what that lever did. There was, um, the cockpit at the beginning was locked. Maybe it has something to do with that. We'll see. Which seems kind of funny. Why would a crashed plane <laughs> have a, a cockpit somehow tied into some underground bunker with a radio hidden in it? Suspend thy disbelief. <laughs> well, it seems I'm okay. I guess I have to wait for rescue, but in the meantime, let's see if that did anything. Ah, it did open it. Three more diamonds. Twenty-two total. And I guess that's it. As I wait for rescue, I will say goodbye to all of you. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, if you had, it would be awesome if you could take half a second to uh, leave a rating. I do really appreciate it. Other than that, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.